Right, meanwhile, the president supporting Roy Moore, as you know. Now, what happens to his agenda if Moore loses? And then we're looking at a 51-49. A Senate in favor of Republicans gets a little close there. To Fox contributors, Jessica Darloff, Ed Lisa Booth, Real Clear Politics co-founder Tom Bevan. What then, Tom? Well, it creates a short-term crisis, right, especially for the tax cut bill. And with Susan they Collins... had this all put to bed before that whoever wins is sworn in. That's the plan. But again, you've got Susan Collins and some other folks wavering. I mean, there's the emergency, you know, break, break glass in case of emergency, which is to try and stuff the Senate bill through the House. Um, but I don't think that's where the Republicans want to be. So short-term crisis, and then obviously looking forward to the next year. I mean, if, if it's 51-49, the margin of error is, is even slimmer. Um, you know, and there's lose one senator, right? Can lose one senator, and and it really does sort of shrink down the the universe of what you can what you can look at doing. I think in terms of moving legislation through the Senate. Um, they again hope to have this all wrapped up. That is the tax thing long before whoever wins this Alabama race is sworn in. Is that doable? Uh, we'll see. I mean, I think that's the goal of the Senate. And I would like to say I wanted to ride on horse onto set, but I was told I was not allowed to. Yeah. So I'm a little the disappointed about that. No problem with that. <laughs> I wanted to make an All entrance. All the horses but left. They're, they're running on 6th Avenue right now away. No yeah. way. No way. <laughs> but, you know, it, we'll see what happens with conference, because you remember there was some horse trading that went on with oh, Senators Johnson. Here, yeah. It was very oh, fun there, Lisa. Right. I'm impressed. Yeah. Collins and Flake to get them over the finish line, to get the Senate bill. Uh, done in the Senate. So with reconciliation, do they lose some of the, those votes? Collins was hoping to get something done on the Obamacare uh, subsidies. John, Johnson was promised something. And by on the way, Castor, that's all they inherent in the spending bill, right? I mean, well, that, that's why there's a lot of wheeling and dealing and connecting to that. But right? Collins has also said that she's not saying yes yet, no, right? No, unless and, that's in there. That and, protection's in there. And will the changes that were made for Johnson end up being in what comes out of conference as well? Right, so, right. I mean, these are things to think about as they're trying to get that conference bill, whatever comes out over the finish line in the House and Senate. Um, it's all about getting out the vote. It's all about, in that, in that state, getting out the African-American vote, uh, working with some very, very prominent African-Americans, uh, and even the President Obama uh, the doing a robocall on, on Doug Jones's behalf. Uh, what do you make of all that? Well, I think that it's great. I think it should have happened a lot sooner. I actually wrote a piece for FoxNews.com about how prominent Democrats should stay away from Alabama. This was a couple weeks ago and let Doug Jones r run his own race. But seeing what happened in 2016, specifically with the African-American community, men, not women, black women, always turn out, and they turn out in force uh, for Democrats. And for that, I thank you. Uh, they definitely could have had a Cory Booker go down there. Charles Barkley was amazing but last they did. night. But you were but they that he came too late. I I worry that, but as we said in this, you know, your segment began with, the polling is completely all over the place. You have a Fox poll with Doug Jones up 10, then you have another poll with Roy Moore up 9. I think we can all agree that this is probably going to be pretty close when it comes down to it. Um, and I then mean, people Hillary, Hillary I have no Clinton, idea. Hillary Clinton had all those folks come out to support her in states like Yeah, but Ohio, as you pointed out to me for many years, nothing. Hillary Clinton is the worst, She's and Doug so Jones is not the I'm worst. glad at least you were listening to me. Well, why are the polls so, Tom, why are the polls so crazy here? Because they're not even close. <laughs> well, it's, A, it's hard, to, it's hard to poll special elections, right, uh, in general. And, and then you throw on top of that, this one's in the middle of December. You've got all these external factors going on with the allegations against Roy Moore. Uh, you've got Doug Jones, who's a who's a really, you know, sort of liberal, he's not a great fit for the state. Um, you put all that together and you've, got, and you've got these discrepancies. It depends on who's going to turn out. I mean, all these pollsters are making assumptions about what the electorate's going to look Whose like today. Whose is more jazz. Absolutely. And, and so, consequently, you end up with a situation that we've never seen before, where you've got one poll that came out yesterday, had Roy Moore up nine, you had the Fox poll come out, had Doug Jones up ten, you had another poll that came out, showed it tied. So, we've never seen anything like this and, and I, anybody who says they know what's going to happen tonight is, is lying well, to you. Tim Kaine made an interesting point, and I, I agree with you. I, I have no idea what's going to happen, but I do believe it'll be closer than the 10 or the 9. But Tim Kaine said that the most instructive uh, thing to look at is what happened in Virginia, where Democrats did outperform the polling there, and that the base is energized, the resistance is strong. And Virginia certainly the entire also country, a trending blue state. Right. No, 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 I, I do understand that, but it, right. did, but it did go against, with the special circumstances considered, people were motivated, for instance, in the Danica Rome election for one and I understand that the state is trending blue and certainly Alabama is not uh, but the enthusiasm that is going on right now with the Democrats 
is very strong, and there are people, there are a lot of reluctant but Republicans who don't want to vote. Republicans, too, don't like being lectured to. Right. right. They don't like being lectured to, There's but they also don't want to be electing someone who is an alleged child molester that may not even get seated. There's going to be an ethics investigation the moment he walks know, in the but door. I know, but it's the lecturing that's ticking him off, Well, I'm right? not lecturing you, but I know please you know. don't Doug vote, vote for Roy Moore. Doug, Doug Jones needs a trifecta today. He needs energized Democrats to turn out. He needs to win the independent vote overwhelmingly because there aren't a lot of them. Right. And he needs crossover from Republicans. The latest polls have it between 8 and 10%. He's going to need at least double digits there to get it done.